Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and Peter Parker, The Spectacular Spider-Man, issue number 298. It's got to be the longest title ever. Anyway, so <laughs> Spider-Man, uh, Peter Parker, is actually stuck in prison right now. Well, preamble to prison. He's in the interrogation room. And a member of the Grey Blade, the S.H.I.E.L.D. rogue agent, comes walking in. And he's like, hey, Mr. Parker, you got some issues. He's like, oh, don't call me Mr. Parker. That was my father's name. You can call me a lawyer. Guy's like, yeah, we're a little bit past lawyers there. Just literally drops the joke. That was good. Come on, that was good. Anyway, so he's like, this is a little bit different than lawyers. He's like, yeah, so that's kind of shady, right? <laughs> the guy says, listen, we just want Spider-Man. Give us Spider-Man and we can make this easy. Otherwise, we're going to transport you to a place that's more likely to get answers out of you. It's like, dude, did you just recommend waterboarding for this guy? What the frick? Enhanced interrogation, whatever you're going to call it. That's messed up. So they're able to escape because the uh, Ant-Man loans out two uniforms to the Human Torch and to Teresa Parker, his sister, uh, Spider-Man's sister. And uh, they come in, they're able to rescue him. Now, how do they rescue him when they only have those two suits? They forgot to bring a third suit. Duh, we really didn't think out this plan very well, did we? So the Human Torch gives up his suit. And like it's the Human Torch. Who's going to be able to stop the Human Torch? Those rooms aren't flame retardant. Come on. So yeah, he's easily going to bust out. But the way he <laughs> that he's in there talking to these guys is great. I'm the Spidey Slayer. I'll kill them all. <laughs> That's awesome. I think he said Spider Choker, a Strangler maybe. Anyway, so uh, they go and they're like, listen, we got to try to get you to Horizon Labs. Maybe those guys can extract the. Uh, the information from your blood and find out exactly what we're dealing with here. But all of a sudden there's a problem and uh, uh, Whiplash and the Falcon show up. Falcon, <laughs> the Vulture, slightly different bird guy. Anyway, and they start trying to beat up on these guys. And Spidey and all them, they're not doing such a great job. So all of a sudden Black Panther shows up, shreds the wings. Yeah, that handles that situation. And uh, Black Lash, he doesn't, uh, Black Lash, <laughs> Whiplash doesn't stand such a great chance against Spider-Man. Because as Spider-Man points out, I'm used to fighting a guy with four of these whips. And, you know, Whiplash only has two. Anyway, it was a pretty good joke. <laughs> so um, Black Panther's saying, listen, man, I can offer them some, I can offer Teresa some uh, permanent residence. You know what I'm saying? For whatever, however long necessary in Wakanda. Let's get her to the embassy and then we'll get her to Wakanda. Nobody's invading there. That's a good possibility. That's a good possibility. Hopefully Chip Zardowski understands. Nobody invades Wakanda. But uh, the Vulture's like, dude, Tinkerer, send everybody. <laughs> uh, next issue, everybody. I can't wait to see. Is this going to be like the Sinister 16? The Sinister 60? Let's see what happens. Guys, I'm going to give this comic book a B plus. I enjoyed this comic through and through, like cover to cover. It was great. Just sitting here reading the story, what's going on, all this other subterfuge and whatnot. This is a good story. Uh, I hope you guys are on it because it's only going to get more wild. Anyway, guys, Professor Bell, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.